Let me tell you about this girl. Leave me your shit. I barely even feel in the name of friend. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Just very briefly, I'm here to show you guys a little bit of my before, but then we're gonna get into the after at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. We just put in a wig, so obviously I'm gonna probably hit my hair with the blow dryer one more time. And yeah, so get into it. Get into the 4C, not heat trained hair. <laughs> All right, y'all, wait. I forgot, don't forget to hit the like button. You feel me? Give me a like, comment. Maybe in the middle of the video because I don't know what you're coming right now, but what's up? Because it hit me. And also subscribe because it's gonna be like a little video and I'm gonna do this wig good. I'm speaking this and I haven't done a wig in so long. But we're just gonna speak it and claim it, okay? And if this wig comes out whack, I'm probably still post it because I'm just reviewing the hair mostly. Hopefully this wig come out slate. So let's get into this wig. I'm gonna be playing my girl Kenna. This wig from West Kiss really came with a lot of items in the box. Like I felt like an actual wig influencer. Cause you know how they be giving them like a bunch of stuff, but like us, they give us like weird looking lashes or like no. I had to whip out the old foundation. Y'all know I do not be wearing no makeup like that. I really want to get into it though, so that'll be soon. But this is the colors of the foundations. I have some good scale brand Lancome. And then also my little drugstore fit me, which you can get at Target. And I'm going to be mixing the two. So my husband also brought me this brand of brushes off Amazon. And I really wanted to show you guys how this wig looked on my head without doing anything to it. No cutting, no nothing. Just straight on my head. Just seeing how it looks, where the hairline is placed and all that. Big was so snug on my head. I almost felt like I didn't have to glue it down, but I also like getting a feel for how much forehead space I'll have and seeing if it's really four inches deep like the parting i got this wig in 20 inches and then 13 by 4 so ear to ear four inches deep in the part you go back and look at that last little clip my hairline was super far further than the wig in other words this wig wasn't super big head friendly and we'll get into that later so as you can see i've mixed both foundations and then i'm gonna pat it on the back of my hand to not put too much on the lace and then as i apply it on the lace i'm just gonna spread it all across so the lace can be tinted. The wig came pre-bleached, I can tell the knots were bleached, but you want that lace to be as close to your skin color as possible and then you wanna let it dry for five to 10 minutes. You're also gonna wanna make sure your edges, like your real edges are pushed back into the stocking. Sometimes the stocking can pull it forward when you put it on, but you don't wanna get no glue on your edges cause we wanna keep our edges. So I tried and I tried to say what's on my mind, not playing, but then I ended up using the got to be glue free spray to really make sure my edges were pushed back and stayed back. I don't know if the wig girlies are using any other new glue, but I am using ghost bomb, which is a major throwback anyways, but I'm gonna be placing this in front of my hair hairline but just enough to where it's close enough to where my wig's not super down close on my forehead touching my eyebrows and then after i cut my ear holes because i almost forgot i'm gonna be placing some more glue and stuff to get everything set in and some more foundation then blow dry that and then let it dry so while this dries a little bit i'm gonna be going in and cutting off just half the amount of lace so if you have like three inches of lace i'll cut like one and a half inches off just to have some working room because you're not going to need it anyways and then we're gonna cut off the excess stocking after it's dry I'm doing this off camera y'all because I'm literally can't see as far as the mirror to like really get precise but we looking a little messed up but we're gonna clear that in a second I'm gonna just cut as close to the glue and the hairline as I can and then I'm gonna come back so like how I got here I kind of want to go higher here because my hairline is like 
droops down and I don't want the wigs to be too close to the eyebrows so I'm trying to cut as close to the glue and then we're gonna get into the wig. I feel like the way you know your wig is gonna come out good is if the ball cap comes out good and you know it didn't come out how I wanted it to come out but it's good enough we're just gonna get this cleaned up with some alcohol using some cotton I was iffy using the cotton because I didn't want it to stick to any glue if it wasn't fully dry I was also trying to decide whether I wanted to cut out the combs in the wig so it's not as bulky or, you know, can have more room because it's not big head friendly. But I kept them just in case I wanted to put it in my braids later after taking the stocking cap off. I gave y'all a little glimpse of what the back looked like because I always be wanting to see the back of people's wigs when they do these reviews. So if anybody else wants to see the back, that's the back. But the hair is not going to look as bulky for the most part because it's a curly wig. But if it was like a straight bust down, that's when you'd really want to make sure you don't have no lumps under that wig so we're going to be using more glue and this is when it's like really you know you want to be precise with the glue i did two to three layers that was my motive at least but the glue ended up coming out really fast because i cut off the top because i hadn't used the glue in a while so it's a lot on my head and next time i do a little less be a little bit more modest be a little bit more demure So I'm going in again to use the alcohol to just clean up some like leftover residue that I see just so that it's neat as possible. Then spraying some more got to be glue to really melt the lace and to seal in that melt I'm going to be putting on the band after I apply some more foundation to try and match my skin tone. This lace would have came out way better if I had a deeper foundation which I'm definitely going to be having for my next wig. My main reason for getting a 13 by 4 lace was to be able to do the flip over method so having that lace ear to ear you're able to do that flip over not like a defined part the last thing i want to say about this wig is there was a decent amount of shedding to begin with but i mean it's expected especially with curly hair i feel like though the cap was a little too small for my head when i say i need a big head friendly wig i need a big head friendly wig i wouldn't suggest this wig if your head is as big as mine and especially not bigger because mm -mm, Jeff. i like the end results but after two days i end up taking this wig out because my skin is sensitive and i was bumping up i hope you guys enjoyed the install and review overall let me know down in the comments if this was interesting to you guys at all whether it was just give me some feedback if you're if you made it this far and if you made it this far subscribe girl subscribe all right i'll see you guys later